heading out this morning. We're gonna do some truck hunting. It's Justin and Ethan and I. There's a roost up here, a ways from our house. It's about six o'clock in the morning. We're heading out. Now we gotta see if we can call some in. It'll be a lot of fun. Also, Mary, at least they're just getting into bloom. It's pretty. There's a service berry bush in bloom. It's a real pretty morning. It's a steep mountainside here we're on. <laughs> we heard a gobble. There are quite a ways down there, so we're going to see if we can get closer to them. Well, we didn't get any turkeys this morning. I gotta tell you, if you watch this video and you're a turkey hunter fanatic, you're gonna laugh your head off because <laughs> I gotta tell you, I've lived in Montana all my life. This is the first time I've ever gone turkey calling for turkeys. We've only had turkeys here in, in the, our part of the state for the last uh, probably five or 10 years, that they're, five years that they really started coming in. So it's kind of a new thing for us to hunt turkeys. So we don't know much about it. We, <laughs> We just did it for the fun of it, but hey, we got some turkeys to come in, but uh, we didn't. We just weren't able to get a shot off. They were running too fast, and then they saw us. They got terribly good eyesight, extremely good eyesight. So it was fun. We enjoyed it. We got to go out with. The, I got to go out with the boys, but uh, we'll have to refine our technique a little bit. Maybe get some decoys and and uh, wear camo and stuff. But we thought they might be pretty dumb around here, and we give it a try and. They did come in, but we couldn't make it happen. Uh, we did two different setups. The first one, we got them to come in. The second one, they stayed out at about 80 yards. Couldn't get them to come any closer, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Probably need a decoy or something. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it, and uh, see you on the next one.